Hello everyone and welcome to another class of AWS Compute. Today in our class we are going to discuss about Lambda and Batch. So let's start with Lambda. So what Lambda is? So here Lambda has a deployment unit which is code. So here we can AWS provisions and scales the server capacity and manage the utilization. That means what Lambda is and what is its use. We can run even initiated stateless application that need quick response time. That means all those applications that require very quick response time, we can run those application using Lambda. So AWS manages all the availability and fault tolerance of your application. So Lambda is basically in compute section of AWS management console, we have Lambda function. So Lambda can run event initiated and stateless applications, those applications which require very quick response times. Here, what are the uses of? That means Lambda, we can say this is zero administration compute platform. So Lambda is a zero administration compute platform for backend web developers. It provides high availability, security performance and scalability of AWS resources. So as a Lambda is that it is a compute service that lets you run your code without provisioning or managing servers. That means we can run our code without provisioning or without managing any servers. It executes your code when needed. Whenever there is a need for execution of the code, it will run that code or execute and it scales it automatically. With this, with Lambda, we can run our code virtually on any type of application or backend service with zero administration. As we have discussed that it is zero administration compute platform. AWS manage the complete fleet that offers a balance of memory, CPU, network and other resources. So it is giving us a complete balance of these memory, CPU, network and other resources that we require with zero administration compute platform. So this is our Lambda in compute section of AWS management console. Now let's discuss about batch, what batch is and where batch is required. Again, this is a large section of AWS management console. In compute section, we have batch. Now AWS batch is a set of batch management capabilities that enables developers, scientists and engineers to easily and efficiently run hundreds and thousands of batch computing jobs on AWS. That's why we can say that here deployment units, unit is job. So it enables developers, scientists, engineers so that they can run a series of jobs automatically in the cloud. Here again, AWS manage all the provision, it manage the availability, fault tolerance, like in Lambda. AWS batch dynamically provisions the optimal quantity and the type of computer resources like CPU, memory optimized instances, which is totally based on volume and specific resource requirement of the batch job which are submitted. Batch. It enables like as we had discussed that we can run easily hundreds and thousands of jobs. There is no need to install and manage batch computing software or server clusters that we use to run our jobs. It allows you to focus on analyzing results and allow you to focus on uh, how to solve the various problems. We have various batch plans which schedules and executes your batch computing workloads across a complete range of services and features like EC2, Amazon EC2 and various spot instances. Now let's discuss about what are the uses of the batch. It can shift the time of job processing to periods where greater or lesser expensive capacities available. That means it can shift the time of the job processing. We can have like it avoids link of computer resources with frequent manual intervention and supervision. It increases efficiency and it increases execution of multiple jobs in parallel. Now what are its uses like we can use batch for financial services like we have 
post trade analytics we can use for life sciences like drug screening for biopharma we can have digital media like visual effects rendering so all of these are the common uses of batch so in today's class we have discussed about batch and lambda which is in a compute section of aws management console thank you so much